Hey everybody, it's Shade bringing you Games by Shade. And I have some sad news to impart. Sonic is dead. Yep, you heard it right. Uh, Sonic died, apparently, and now we have to solve the mystery of who killed him. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. So yeah, for anybody who's going, what? What fever trip dream is this? Um, Sega released a game right around April Fools this year, and it's a murder mystery. And apparently Sonic dies. <laughs> and that's kind of all I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna play through it. I have not played it yet. And we're gonna see if we can solve a mystery today. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Can I use keyboard controls for this? I can. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name is Shade. Written like a true kindergartner. That's my name. Shade. Did I spell that right? Uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's like some of it's mouse, some of it's not really mouse. Might be mouse and keyboard. Yes. Hope passengers can read my scribble. So am I like a train uh, attendant person? Kind of looks like it. Dining car. Well, best place to start. Somewhere we can get a nice meal. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Shade, shake it off. Oh. Shade, did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? <laughs> Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho, quite alright myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. <laughs> is everything alright or is that because you're a sweetie? Is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Spagonia? Is that like Spaghetti Land? Oh, shower's been on the fritz, so I'm nervous to use the- or so I'm excited to use the hotels. Ha ha ha. I can see why his wife's excited. <laughs> yeah, they haven't been showering for how long? <laughs> Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Okay, so you can click on that. Menu, the Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> you know, the classic fine dining experiences. <laughs> Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon bleu. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> Fair. Okay, what is this button? Oh, okay, resume, save, load, options. I'm gonna tweak the volume a little bit. I did before I started, but that is very loud in my ears. I'll adjust it for you guys, but... Whew. Uh, I guess we should also save, since you can save any time. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, chicken cordon bleu, because apparently all we have is a microwave. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? Ha 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 Little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. Has it been a smart train for 32 years, or do you guys just, like, keep upgrading it? After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood. I can't afford to lose this job. No, I'll make you proud, sir. Ha <laughs> glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening, all aboard. Ooh, that's a pretty looking train. Thing, people. Oh, there's Amy. Oh, I like her little cake hat, that's cute. Wow, this train is incredible. Fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. Oh, we even get Vector? Man, we get the Chaotix group, this is awesome. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. 
What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh, it's Amy's birthday. That's why she has a cake hat. Okay. This trade's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Rouge has hardly any clothes on. Same as usual. <laughs> Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of character. What cast of characters am I stuck with? <laughs> you know, just the Sonic crew. Get a hold of yourself, Shade. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Arg, of course, sir. Uh, radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Uh, sorry about that birthday, girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Shade, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Ooh, oh, Shadow's here too. He's just in the back. We also have Blaze, hey? I can go left and right. Okay. A lot of people. Oh, and Espio. Is Charmy with them? There's no Charmy? Come on. Okay, Knuckles, I guess. Howdy, can I get your ticket? It's just crumpled. I think that's a ticket, but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Tails is just holding his already. <laughs> Can I get your ticket, youngin? It's pristine. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little bit nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. <laughs> it's fine. He's just a child genius. Super normal. Ticket, please. No, well, Sonics isn't crumpled either. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't know. Maybe. This game is called Sonic. <laughs> uh, I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have f fun now. Will do. Thanks. Okay, how about Espio, who's got the fanciest attire on right now? Looking swell, my dude. Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. <laughs> I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Oh, I could talk to the frickin' cake thing? One sec, we'll talk to Vector. Hello, my friend, can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As gentlemen of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Something amiss, sir. I seem to have, um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that'd be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Let's talk to the... Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Shade, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Shade only gets one of those. Or, be sure Shade only gets one of those if they ask. Aww. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. It's just judging me. Faha, <laughs> good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat, the snacks look really tasty too. Okay, how about Amy? Birthday girl. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee why certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery change sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? 
You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, a key. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. What? Um, are you sure you want to give her a key to any, any door? The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Uh, hey, Shadow. I don't know why you're here, but thanks for joining us, bud. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare. Brr, so cold. Shade, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Huh, no, I, I'm good. What do you, you need a bag? Ooh, I can click on this. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Happy birthday, Amy. There's the weather. Looks sunny. That's fun. Let's talk to Blaze. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Princess such as myself must always be punctual. So has Blaze appeared in anything else? I've... She was first introduced in what? Sonic Rush? On the DS? Because that's where I first saw her. And then she was in the sequel, Sonic Rush Adventure. And I'm assuming she's been in stuff since then, but I definitely haven't played any games or seen anything since. But I'm assuming she has been. P princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? <laughs> just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho oh, ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? I like how Blaze is just joining them. It's like, yeah, sure, we're just gonna shoehorn her in. Well, hello, you two. What can I do you for? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <laughs> oh, th this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> Okay, I think we got everybody, right? Well, I guess we're missing Vector's ticket, though. Oh, napkin holder. What's sticking out in the napkin holder? There's a crumpled ticket. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket added to inventory. So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll return it. I have faith. Kind of looks like Knuckles' ticket, but alright, we'll give it to Vector. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Shade, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? This one. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Ho oh, oh, ho, old Shade here would have their hands full of kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Yeah, and I don't think I'd win against Vector. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? One of these is harder than the other to do. You're both alright, my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this crew seems pretty capable on their own. And train? Assist Shade if they need any help, won't you? Ha ha ha, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. So it self-cleans? That's pretty cool. Either that or that self, you know, does its own thing as me cleaning up messes. For everything else, please talk to Shade here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. 
I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest, suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. They're gay girlfriends, I guess, now. All right. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Why is the butcher in the library? <laughs> Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright, you can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Ooh, okay, we got a map. I have a map for each of you. Okay, so we are currently, what, dining car? Dining car then goes to saloon. Saloon to library, library to casino, casino to lounge, lounge to conductor car. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map added to my inventory. A map of the train. So I wonder if this updates when people move around. I bet it does. That's pretty cool. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. A one hour murder mystery. Da 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 da. Ah, this is so exciting. The mystery's unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Ah, uh, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. See, this is how Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. <gasps> Little bird friend. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. That's like a weird reverse, like, um, what is it, E-105? Why am I blanking on his name right now? Gamma? Gamma. From Sonic Adventure. <laughs> My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. <laughs> Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. <sighs> da da da. The train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something. What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping. H hold on. I can't. Ah, no. <laughs> Guys, it's just a train moving. We'll be all right. And then we all died. Uh, it seems a little more um, forceful than it should have been. You're both awake. Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with, th with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Shade, can you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shuffle back with your Pico Pico hammer. Hmm? Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Hmm? 
I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Understood. Count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. <laughs> Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Well, we have a lot of things to roam around on. That's fun. Well, there's like a baseball bat. There's Amy. There's a sign. The shelf. Garbage. Boxes. I can't click on the microwave. That's so sad. Now let's do boxes. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Can we get out of here? Sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. I was preparing for my job aboard the train. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. <laughs> We sit into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey Shade, look closely at this. Oh, there's a piece taken out of it. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Okay. Kind of looks like Knuckles just ate it, you know? <laughs> uh, baseball bat. What's this, a rod? Oh, it's a rod. The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. It's a great weapon. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Yeah, it looks like a handle of some sort. Amy. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? <gasps> I'll keep looking. Uh, talk, I guess? Oh no, okay. Start interrogation. Amy. Oh, this is like Phoenix Wright music. I love that. Okay. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? She could, uh, microwave a chili dog. <laughs> attempted to escape or murdered a suspect. Probably attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Shade and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Shade, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Probably the crack on the shelf. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. Ha ha ha. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, I, um, uh, mm, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He al he's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. I spend so much money on microtransactions. <laughs> uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. <laughs> think. Oh, Shade's dream. Oh gosh, I... Okay, WASD in space? Got it. Okay, so we have mini games apparently. Got it. Uh, ooh, rings. Okay, so I can't fall off, which is nice. You kind of just like hit the wall. 
Well, this is cute. The pixel art is super cute. I like how it has my name on the top, too. Oh, okay, well, I'm not getting a Chaos Emerald at the end, but I am getting an idea. <laughs> sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with, then? Uh, this handle. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh, and we're doing mini games again. All right, back to the mini games. Okay, so we need more rings this time. I wonder if these actually get like hard. Probably not really. I don't know. Like, if you fail that, do you just have to redo it, or do you just like lose the game? <laughs> You're right. Stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say... a hammer? Yuck! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf all the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh... Ah! Uh. Yeah, guilty or something. As you both said, I tried to get us out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. I like how she just carries around on her birthday, just like strapped to her back or something. Well, lucky for me, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. Th the shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did property damage, guys, on the train that I am now working on. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get back to the dining car, I guess. Ooh. Oh no, the picture fell off the wall. Wait, is that... <sighs> and he's dead! <laughs> It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Ta ta ta. Sonic? <laughs> eh. Body. Numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? I'm not a first aid attendant. What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic? Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Shade. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Shade. My favorite employee. My brand new employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Ha ha. Ha 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 I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Honk honk. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, like Sonic Chronicles, this game is apparently not considered canon. So, you know, alas, just like Shade, Sonic apparently isn't actually dead. Wow, look at this place. Oh, they have an Oma Chow poster wanted. <laughs> um, hey Tails, where are you? Shade, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha, ha 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 He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. 
He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Uh, can I take along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I take along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Yeah, with my portable microwave. <laughs> As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints. What are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We are wondering if you could tell us what you're up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell you, there of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. Why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Shade, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Okay, so it seems like we're probably going to go through and investigate and interrogate everybody. And then figure out... Howdy, partners. Figure out who murdered. Spittoon free establishment. Coliseum Highway Zone. I can talk to the bartender train, too. Uh, arcade machine? Clearly won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Har har. That's a nice little nod to another franchise of theirs. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? <laughs> that is my face exactly, Tails. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed Arcade is added to your inventory. Oh, my chow. Decent cash reward for fighting this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see him like this. What did they do? Medical malpractice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Breathtaking views. Oh, it is pretty. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters. Though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. <laughs> Fair. I'll never understand this friend group. Got a garbage can. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash, another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> Okay, how about these glasses? Shade, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. One has red on it too. Shade, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles. No, I want to talk to everybody. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? You fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? <laughs> Probably better than I do. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. W what? Ugh. Or maybe they're just unsalted. We got some definitely not alcohol. Huh, that's funny. Door's locked tight. Can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. <laughs> she probably crawled under it, you know? Okay. I think I've got everything. I thought I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> Please don't beat me up. I like your hat. Hmm. Aw, he blushed. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? 
I said leave. <laughs> Can I take your order? <laughs> Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Shade, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Yep. Yep, definitely like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Uh, start interrogation. Knuckles, Shade and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Shay, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Uh, the smashed arcade. The arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Think. Let me run around a bit and I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, so the rings seem to go up by- oh, hi, there's spiky balls, okay. Um... Yeah, the rings seem to go up by like five each time. I'm guessing I lose rings if I touch those. Okay, well it was pretty generous this time, probably because there was danger. Ding ding. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touch the arcade machine because... <laughs> Super Monkey Ball's your favorite game. <laughs> the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? <laughs> mm. What are y'all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. <laughs> How will you? I'm on it. Shay, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Oh, okay. I don't actually have to fight Knuckles, thank god. <laughs> Boing. Oh, okay. Don't touch the spikes. Bad. I swear I moved on that one. Alright. Oh no. I failed. Not enough rings. Uh oh. Eh. Ha. Now Tails, get away from that arcade cabinet. Shade, try again. I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. Okay, good. It just lets me go right back into it. Thanks, game. Gotta put my focus face on. There we go. Okay, a lot better. <laughs> it's weird because, like, you could move in between the paths a little bit. It's kind of funky. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. <gasps> Vector beat him by one point. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Huh. Picture's beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. <laughs> and in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grr. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Vector's a common name. <laughs> uh, I'm glad Knuckles thinks just as well under pressure as we all do. Oh, definitely hit that one. Alright. That's fine though. Still got our light bulb idea. Mm -hmm. Now, Shade, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Probably the extra glasses. But there's one with lipstick. No! Thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Ah, don't... Don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. Har har, another train pun. So as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour one to play arcade with me. Went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story. And alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. 
boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> well, that explains one of the used cups. But what are the cup with the lipstick mark? That's Rouge, isn't it? Rouge is in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, but I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Huh? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Shay, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Uh, Ultim? Okay, I can choose. Or are we thinking Toast because they also have a 1 as their score? I don't know, let's do Ultim. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Shade, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The ultimate life form. Oh, Shadow. <laughs> the Locksmith. <laughs> There's really someone here that goes by that name? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game that was the first to get and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Ooh, a key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking that door. It's honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she had some sort of key too. Oh yeah, she has the birthday key. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find him and ask him yourselves. Alright. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. Library's the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Shade, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Shade! C coming! Okay, so we can move on now. So does this map update? Oh yeah, so it shows Yeah, Sonic's dead. We're in the room with Knuckles. And yeah, we got some other peoples coming up. Alright. Okay, I should probably save while we're here. There we go. Okay. Ready to mosey down to the next car? No way, dang nabbit. You got a partner. Onwards. Let's go talk to the Chaotix crew. Who's missing Charmy, which is so sad. Hang in there. <laughs> All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espy and I wanted to give you our present. Or give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Back to it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Um, Want to join us in finding clues? Flattered, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! And you may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved. I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. <laughs> and I'm Espio, the poet. 
Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic, rhythmic of pose. Prose. Ugh, can't speak today. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. Dee dee dee. Oh, look at the little chows. Oh, they're so cute. Was that it? I have more, if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Shade and I are here to establish both your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector upboard, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup. Where is Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. Probably gems and jewels. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind them. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again, locking the door behind him, then returning to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library. That's when the train sped up. We worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, it's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library or the saloon cars. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If we return with any meat, I'll chop it up for y'all. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for Clue. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Okay. <clears throat> How about Robot Man? Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. We've got a globe. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. Food can't be beat either. Ah, uh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area. Makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Yeah, they've been around a little bit. Something's always hidden in the trash can. Hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Shade, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? Yes. No, I'm alright. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Shade, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Okay, we got table. Oh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Shade, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time. I'd have two rings. Which is not a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. Book of the month. Gone, gal. Can I look at the chow poster? <laughs> The chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. This little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? I'm sure they forgot the chow had wings. Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Shade, look at this. There's a couple maps here. 
This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take a look. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, huh? Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Okay, map. So we are over by the brochure rack and fireplace. Not really sure what I'm supposed to gather from that, but all right. Okay, we've got books on the ground. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Uh, ooh, we have one book in particular. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. <laughs> what kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. <laughs> oh my god, are they all egg recipes? You may not be wrong. Okay, I can also look at this whole shelf of books. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, except this one. Ooh, Mirage Express Manual. It's a user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. The manual. An exhaustive manual, the Mirage Express has many features and capabilities. It doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. Okay. Any other books or things I can click on here? Tails hasn't told me that I can interrogate people yet, so I might be missing something still. There's the door. Just the door, I think. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon. When Shadow left the library car, he locked the store on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Okay, I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Okay, I'll talk to Vector first. Did you bring me any meat to chop? Maybe a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Weird. You actually tried bringing a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a catch ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. <laughs> hmm. What if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not a biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I take your order? Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. Murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Shade. Why'd you tease him like that? Here, I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Shade, you made him a fool. Come on, Shade, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah, yeah. I'd smooth things over, but at what cost? <laughs> okay. Uh, start interrogation. So, two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Shade and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh, what? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Hector enjoys being social. Plus, we're instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't know you that, detective. Let the man live. <laughs> what if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on that. what that book might be. Shade, could you help me out? Alright, Shade, what book do we think Espio may have been reading? The only one in our inventory. And he probably put it back quickly on the wrong spot of the shelf. A manual? You think Espio's reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? 
I don't know, but I'm gonna play a game to figure out my my thoughts. Oh, we now have four um like paths. What? Okay. <laughs> Got it. Uh oh. At least it warns you. Well, that was fun. I like that it's kind of bigger now. I have more space to move around and gather rings. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey, now, I won't have you insult my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. Butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. <laughs> you know, except they're not actually butchers and poets. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Shade, if you don't mind. Uh, could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, page 97, because if you do the first or last, people are going to read those, usually. Let's do 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. <clears throat> During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying this train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Shade, hit him with another one. Oh, okay. Which page do I choose? Um, let's go 231. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you'll be charged no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. <laughs> Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> Last one, Shade. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Um, page 56. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now did I pass your little test? Yeah, I think so. Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly, and that you read like a 460 page book in an hour. Poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's pretty impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have the evidence to back it up. Shade? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Shade, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading, but what? Uh, I mean, could be Shadow, could also be Rouge. I'm gonna go with Shadow's lock, though. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up, Shade. Let's get our argument together. I mean, Shadow was clearly through the car. Rouge at some point went through the car. Oh, there was not a gap there. Cry. Ooh, they're throwing a lot of quick little dudes at me. This is fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. That was a lot of fast-paced objects. We're good. I had a thought. <laughs> Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. Wasn't the highest score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. 
We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in the book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, you see. I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Shade. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor was vanishing. I was so involved in my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had me had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. <laughs> Vector's just like, yep, 100% bud, support ya. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Uh. I'm gonna defend Espio. I feel like he's not the murderer. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. Oh, maybe the map? Because if Espio, maybe Espio was in that one table on the top left there, where it's completely blocked off. <laughs> this one. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. Let's think. I love the, like, anime girl voice that just goes, think. Oh, there was a lot of rings there. This is fine. Honestly, I think you're better off just not getting hit. It's kind of the main thing. I say, instantly getting hit. This is fine. I have more than enough rings. Do -do -do -do. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exit? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? He would have been right there, at that table specifically. <laughs> right? Unless there's like another one. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this when I return from the saloon car. Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen another, each other from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. Apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both. W we did it. Another pair of alibis. Validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door of the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. And that's our key to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose. While doors keep getting locked, tick, tick, tock goes the clock. While our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm starting to feel, or I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Shade, let's see what's next. Coming. Yeah. Okay, so how are we doing on map stuff? So we have what, Rouge and Blaze, and then Shadow and the Conductor, so we're getting through this train about halfway through it. Okay, now that we've gone through another train car, let's uh, do a little save and resume. Oh, can we talk to Espio still? May the breeze drift you towards success. One sentence poem for you. Are italics enough to qualify as a poem? <laughs> 
You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls, Tails. Okay, the investigation continues. Oh, there's a chow here. Oh my gosh, can we talk to the chow? Oh, there's a claw machine too. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right, folks. Uh, folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell them, Rouge, we're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tre treasure They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of the fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday party invite only to find that egg. Woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Yeah, she wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you go take a look? Ooh, there's numbers on that. I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. Score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finder's keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of su success grows with everyone's help. I'm gonna help a robot train. Alright, cool. <laughs> so, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Or she doesn't care because she's from an alternate dimension. Shay, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. Or it's time for a five finger discount. Uh, stealing's for squares. Sorry, guys. I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation, it's crumbling. Alright, alright, I'm in. I'll help. Well, I suppose both Blaze and Shade are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Hehe, <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh, we have a whiteboard and everything. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Uh, distract them. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Shade, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Serious face on. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Um... Hmm... I'm gonna say, like, Tails or Blaze, because Rouge can steal the card. But Tails is good at machines. Let's do Blaze. Think you could distract the, card bla the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Um... Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? <laughs> That's will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Just straight up pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access card. Key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Shade, what's your plan? Uh, pretend you're Blaze's spouse. <laughs> Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um... Uh, you dress far too plain. You need a complete refashioning immediately. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We'll have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. 
Okay, um... Say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Celebratory dance. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, the eyeballs of these drawings. <laughs> uh, have tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, tails is taking a while. The arms are tightening their grip. Um, cry and hope they sympathize. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone's ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. Okay, we're just going on a heist. F forget the murder mystery. Oh, we don't get to see that play out. Darn. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll click here. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 23, 04, 01. Oh, wow. It's here. Haha, <laughs> I have it. Oh, so cute. Alright, before anyone else sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out, what are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. And now we're just playing Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box, okay. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. It's a bomb. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one left to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. Sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge! Fine, fine, but what do we do? Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Uh. 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 Tell the egg to stop. <laughs> uh, toss it in the elevator. Alright, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Uh. Let Rouge kiss the egg. As they say, love always prevails. <laughs> I still hear the ticking. Hm, what a prude. Uh, um, tell the egg to stop. Stop. It's still ticking. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, this, um, eat it. Not without any salt, I won't. Really, Shade? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Tails, cool it down with your tails. Like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking. However refreshing the breeze may be. Hmm, okay, new plan. Uh, let's flip it upside down. Shade, what's flipping it going to do? I don't know, try it. Nothing. Happy? Yes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take one for the team, guys. Here, give it to me. Get get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am. A hero. No, Shade, we won't let you do that. I mean, if that's what they want, who are we to... Stop. The microwave kid's obviously not going to sacrifice herself. Her body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Yeah, true. Let's think of something else quickly. Uh, rocket to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the idea guy. Okay. Um, Blaze, set it on fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Shade? Maybe. Okay, twist it again. Great idea. 
stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Uh, let's open it up, see if there's wires to cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie shade, this is real life. Ah, he's got a good point. Okay, let's smash the egg against a wall. Alright, here goes nothing. Rouge. But yeah, should probably think of a different plan. Stop on it. Just how I like my eggs. Smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Uh, throw it and lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Ugh, okay, fine, it's going back in. Hmm? Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh, Chow's control- or chaos- sorry, we're canning chaos control the egg away. <laughs> Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter, we need a chaos emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it. Uh, I guess we're gonna let it finish ticking. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Shade. This is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Shade, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Right, so it can't be a bomb. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it, wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait, see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew! My, my, well that's one way to get my heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch is right, thankfully. Ian, look what's inside. Ooh, a chow necklace. Wow, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy too. The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Well, I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. <laughs> so we learned nothing about Blaze and Rouge. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was the exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? I bought those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said. Fine, there's keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better, <laughs> sweetheart. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way then, for now. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Oh, another key. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. Doors unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Well do. Come on, Shade, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Oh, I can't talk to the Chow guy. How about the robot arm? The capabilities of the robot arms is quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The truck conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Ooh, poker chips. Hmm? <gasps> That's Eggman's face. That's Dr. Eggman's logo. 
I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. It's not like they've been in like 7 million games. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm, every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Blaze, you got anything else to say? Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thanks. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Huh, <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell, you sweat out of your uniform pretty often. <laughs> yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Uh, your alibi? You think you could go for your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car, Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did have a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy your present when she stopped by, Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof that you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash-out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? Th that's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk, she's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Okay, we have other table. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, want to play some blackjack? I don't know how to play that. Uh, it's easy, let me show you. Shade, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. Oh, I can look at the slot machines. Hmm, should I give the slot machine a try? Yes. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, they lost. Do I try again? Yes. How long is it gonna let me do this? Shay, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? Big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe next time I'll get it. Do I get anything if I just keep clicking this? You know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I got it this time. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? The sunk cost fallacy? The phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. <laughs> uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. This tail is just gonna stop talking to me, probably. I haven't seen any achievements yet, so I'm assuming there's none. But yeah, okay. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought I lost you there for a second. Haha, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, Rouge. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now what can I do you for, darlings? Are you hungry? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem, just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll haul her. And your alibi? Probably stealing things. Do you think you'd go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back to the library and saloon cars till I found it here in the uh, till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Okay, is there anything else I can click on before I move? Oh. <laughs> Jackpot. Rings. Knight's Pinball. Aw, oh, man. No cheating. And visit Twinkle Park. I've never actually played through Knight's Journey into Dreams. I know my friend rented it, I think, or he bought it when we were younger. Always seemed like an interesting game. Should probably play it one of these days. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Ooh, look at this lounge with all the little chows playing instruments. How cute. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word as you talk over me. 
I got my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Shay, it seems like Shadow wasn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright. Indubitably. Uh, giant wardrobe. Shade, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, watch a pro. Ah, heck. <coughs> ah. All this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, there is a thing in there, okay. Hmm? Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Shade. What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious, this must mean something big. Oh, it goes to the library. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back to the passage before they spot us. Before Vector talks my ear off again and Espio recites more poetry. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage. Okay. Uh, oh, the Chow's playing instruments. Hey, it's the big Chow band. Give us a jam. Ooh. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. Can they do it again? They don't miss. Those Chow understand music. What do these signs say? Presenting Big Chow Band. Take a beat. Visit Music Plant Zone. Okay, another robot cleaning. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh. No, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Uh, give me a high five. Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Alright, Amy, what's up? Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a very big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. Just makes sense. Okay, I can't click on the giant chaos emerald lamp. There's Shadow, who's probably not going to talk to me. We have a window. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Ooh. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Oh, there's big fishing in the background. <laughs> I just noticed them. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Okay, computer? They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. <gasps> trash can! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Shade, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? But there's always something in the trash bin. <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! <gasps> a paper! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this one. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Always! Okay, how about the board with keys on it? Hmm. Oh, these are the same ones that Shadow's been using. A key ring? Must be Shadow's, the locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. 
I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow. No, I want to click the printer. See his printer's hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic rowing a boat. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. <laughs> nice. And there you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Can I print the other thing too? Yes. There we go. He's singing a song. And there. Worked like a charm. There you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Okay. Uh, we can click the door. It's probably locked, right? Somehow locked? Shame, we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. Okay, Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Shame, we certainly will not. Can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. Coffee on a train. No better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. Took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. <laughs> okay. Let's actually invest or, uh, interrogate you. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Hehe, <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one door so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out, leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? The shadow trapping Sonic? Clearly not if Sonic ended up in the dining car. I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Shade and I can explain the car change, however. Shade, what evidence, is, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Um, Probably the hidden passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Think! Ooh, it's black and white now. Very fancy. Okay, we got fireballs. I was gonna say, is there nothing that's gonna murder me? Just, you know, raining hellfire. It's fine. I like this one. It's got a very nice aesthetic to it. Shade and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Shade. Hmm, this is just my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on his way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up. Other than my hot scoop. Ha, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espion Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it'd be hard to sneak around two people. Shade, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espion Vector didn't see Shadow because... I mean, both of these are true. Espio was reading and Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles, and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? 
I believe Espio is behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that shadow? I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game. I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps Shade and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? <laughs> Shade, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? How about the fact that he owes only two keys left? That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Think hard, me. Ooh, 60 rings on this one. I like that you can kind of like stand between lanes and get multiple uh, rings. It's pretty nice, actually. Woo! There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those are the two keys Shadow meant to give Espion Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? Hmm? If Shadow did murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Shade and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Shade? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Shade. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Was he printing her the concert tickets? What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, uh, how dare. Shade, show me evidence. H huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? That he was printing out the concert tickets. That feels right. Whew, just organize my thoughts. Okay, this one's only 65. Not the worst. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of explosions going on. Okay. Wow, they rammed up the difficulty on this one. Woo! Explosions everywhere. Wee. Yeah, the options did have um, ways that you can set the difficulty of this too if you needed. So if anybody's struggling to get through that, you can change the difficulty. <laughs> you went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails don't. <gasps> ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Oh my god, is Charmy in this band? Yes, he. Isn't it cute? I haven't gotten any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell it in minutes. So the question becomes, why was the paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. 
The printout of the Hot Honey's Band ticket website exists because... Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. I spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyways. Oof. Probably our fault there. Ah, uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. <laughs> when I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift. Except for me. Word for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas. And then I saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. This plan is flawed though, Shadow. Amy has the birthday key. Didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. Because the conductor gave me this. Yeah, where were you for that? This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, your gesture's so sweet. And after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late. It's happening. Eee, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. This wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who has the source for your, uh, big scoop? I'd like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Shade, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Nobody murdered Sonic. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Okay. Save. And then make our way to the last train car. Longle. Ready to go to the conductor car? Yeah, let's finish this. It's now or never. Ooh. This is fancy looking. There's a spilled mug, though. Also, where's the conductor? <laughs> Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. The last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Uh, the spilled coffee mug. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. Can I talk to Shadow? Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fa ha ha ha. Uh, dead robot hand? <gasps> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why. A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Hmm. I hear the idea of an axe causing this, but weapons aren't allowed on the train. No, they are not. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture's really clear. I'd watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said Happy Birthday Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. <laughs> the high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. <laughs> Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Okay, how about the console? 
didn't realize these robot arms can also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive a- Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I'd completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. I'd probably trust you more than the conductor of 32 years. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, guys. Okay. <gasps> Another trash bin. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. I guess. Ooh, we have a lot of things. Okay. Speakers? A microphone? We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? <laughs> if you can hear this, your armpits stink. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm uh, sure they are, Tails. I was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Okay. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Okay, how about the vent? A vent? Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Because Tails flies. <laughs> they all look at me, they're like, come on, where have you been? Oh, the, uh, the, the, the Tails, right. Shade, ugh. Oh, interesting. Okay, what else can I click on then? Oh, a stabby bit. Hmm? What's this? Was someone playing darts? That looks like a poison dart. That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. But that's impossible. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapon on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Alright, Amy. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Shade? Ready to solve this case? Uh, let's save quickly and then yes. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Right now. Oh, look at all our buddies here. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Shade. Why hasn't Sonic showing up? <laughs> because he's dead. <laughs> Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Oh, that would be fun. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ha, huh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. And she found the dead body. Knuckles is just ready to fight. <laughs> what in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? <laughs> and Sonic's dead. <laughs> he, he, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this, Sonic, on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. 
Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. So Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I sat around playing detective. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Shade, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh. Uh. I don't think anybody did. But if I had to guess, I would say it's you, Amy. That can't be right. Neither Tails nor I can be the murderer. Oh, that's right. Let me pick again. Uh, maybe Espio, because he's sneaky? Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio. We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Shade, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time, because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Shade and I can explain that too. Shade? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A uh, ninja like him speed reads. Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking about what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky you didn't find the passage. Shade and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Shade? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh... Would Shadow know? Because he walked through the car? Yeah, it wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint? They told us we can see something later, now's the time to take a look. Oh, uh, Rouge. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout from our treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Oh, right, so she would know. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Shay, do you have an answer for them? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Sonic or Shade and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Shade and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Uh... Would it have been the blow dart? Or do you think he, like, fed him some poison food? Probably the blow dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Shade. What would Sonic do? Sonic would think. Oh, only 60 rings? You're so generous, game. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't fair. It's okay, let me try again. 
How dare you just explode the ground on me, game? And I was doing so well, too. Okay, try that again. There we go. Give me my reward. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, uh, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point, but Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Shade, I know another way it could have been done. W we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh... Mm, what do you mean another way it could have been done? Blueprints, maybe? Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Shade, think. I don't know, something on the blueprints? I'm not following Tails' logic on this one. Okay, so it does show you the destructible floor before it dies. Oop. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's... There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent? Of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here. And a track. A track? Huh. A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent? Took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid. So I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Uh, with a robot arm. Whew, not a thing about my argument. I don't know, the robot arm just dragged him through the car like a ragdoll. Oh boy. There's a lot of things attacking me. So many rings. I wonder if you can get a hundred in any of these. I don't know. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of the robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from the blow dart and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Ooh, maybe. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit there are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. 
who received that information. That was Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday present. That scoop came from you, Espio? Huh. No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Y yes, I said, uh, Sonic's gonna get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ugh. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car, and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, Espio! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, hey there, Sonic. <laughs> Hey, guys. <laughs> Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Oh, we get Sonic aside now? Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Oh, the train's evil. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized train's powered by a flicky. <gasps> oh no, it's gonna be the one that Tails had as a friend. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Yeah, by the way, your employer's evil, uh, colluding with Eggman, and the train is a bad nick. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. <laughs> Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop. What are you doing? Oh, okay, nope, they're working against the conductor too. I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail as it, it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this while poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ugh! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so we're sitting here going, wait, no, the train's actually evil. And Espio's like, guys, I, I might be the murder mystery murderer. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <laughs> Wait, you mean you don't just kill people for fun? I'm a ninja. Who thought this was a good idea? I was just following the rules. See? Use this blowdart on Sonic station in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. It's definitely written by Eggman. What is that? It says use this blowdart on Sonic station in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. 
Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Shade, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? It was the train. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for good. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a badnik, and now it's out to get us? It's probably controlled by Eggman. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Come out and show yourself. Amy, it's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. I like how Vector's now smacking the wall, too. What was that? Sounds like we're going to get shot. Sounds like murder time. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm. Oh. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I am taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman! After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you? Enough. Train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Yeah. Whoa. No. No. I can't keep my footing. Ah. Thump. <laughs> and I get knocked out twice again in the last hour. <laughs> And now we're back in the dining car. A uh, bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh. Ah. Uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Ah. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. S Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. Seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everybody else? Great question, but for now are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings to take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Can I click these? The yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Oh, and now we have Eggman faces. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, oh, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Wait, so Eggman's over here improving the infrastructure? I fail to see how this is a bad thing. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres, it's science. Let's cut to the chase, where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now just getting caught up. Far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation behind programming. I like to make my badniks complete, or compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The 
The train wants to deliver us to Eggman. For a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train. It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation. I like how Sonic's hat is just on one ear. And being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor has been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I... I get it, the road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See? I'm one of those leap-before-you-think kind of guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Uh, what would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head-on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Smack. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash is fast enough to get the doors open. Heh, now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Uh, give me a second. I wanted to click on the robot. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. Anything else? Nope. Alright, well I guess we better just head on forward. Oh, uh, or should we ask Sonic what he wants to eat? Oh, okay. I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. To the conductor car to end this mystery. I guess Sonic never does get to tell me what he wants to eat. <laughs> oh, okay. We're doing this now. Alright, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. Ooh, this one has five now. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, he's got his little conductor's cap on now. That's adorable. Also, we've now gone full screen. Oh, just barely made that one. Okay. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Oh, I was hoping, like, Knuckles would join our little party here. Guess they can't really do that, though. Okay, that one went a lot smoother. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. I like how it's taking us through the different rooms, too. That's fun. Now we're at the casino. Oh, I missed so many rings there. Ugh. It's fine. Just keep getting the rings I can. Oh man. Nope, that was not enough. Okay. Not enough rings. Hopefully just puts me back to the beginning of the casino. Yeah, okay. I missed like all the high reward options. Okay, I'll go here. This one's good. And this one. Oh no, nope. it was in the middle. Okay. There we go. That works a lot better. Sonic? It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move you. Do you ready? Always. Let's boogie. 
And now into the really pretty one. Ooh, so many explosions. Oh, is that gonna be enough? If I don't get hit... <laughs> ah, it's fine. <laughs> Made it. Okay, we're good. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Alright, last one. Only 55. Let's go, Sonic. Oops. Why is this one so deceptively simple? Okay, weirdly easy. Got it. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Heh, this is no way to treat my birthday, girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Yeah, let's murder a train or something. It's not murder on the train, it is murder the train. Excellent work trapping these pests, now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman land, and probably another death egg. Don't teleport us to the future. Teleport you all. Oh, to the future when I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. We're gonna murder a train. Oh, okay. Oh, ho, ho. Did we get to fight the train? Oh, okay, there's robot arms. Well, this is cute. Just keep getting rings. Don't hit the robot arms. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's retiring, you just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. Can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Aw, so the train actually misses the conductor. That is a little sad. Got to admit that. Ooh, there's a lot of dudes popping up. All right. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Just let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Oh, the train is getting angry. I am so sorry, train. You just wanted a friend. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get 70 rings getting two at a time. <laughs> Conductor! You promised me. You promised. Leave him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please, don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Uh, I am not in control currently. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, we're fighting a train. Okay. Let's go train. Are you going to shoot rockets at me? Yep, it's about to shoot stuff at me. Okay. Oh man, there's a lot going on. Woo! Okay, just don't get hit. Ah, oh, so close. Darn it. Alright, 
Try that again, team. That went a lot better this time. I bet you could get a hundred. If you get like the ring box. Oh, hit number one. Okay, two more times, I'm sure. Oh, there's the flicky. Gotta save him. A flicky? This is just like the lore card when my ex best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this is really a bad neck. Stakes rise every second, huh? Gotta save him. On it. Let's show her full power. Ooh, 85 rings. Ow. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get enough this time. There's a lot of explosions going on, alright. Oh, just barely made that one. All right. Hit him again, Sonic. Just just be delivered to Eggman already. What about what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish. How how dare you? Oh, 100 rings this time. Okay, we're going to be forced to get 100. so many rings. That was such a clean run. <laughs> Woo. No, 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 no. I'll grab the flicky. Yeah, you grab him, SBO. Aw. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. <laughs> Heart-shaped smash. Aw, goodbye, train. It was nice knowing you. Thanks for the murder mystery. And I'm now out of a job. <laughs> and Sonic catches her. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Yeah, it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Aw. I, I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Aw, goodbye robot. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Poor conductor, what a terrible last day. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you I'll never forget our time together. Yeah, see? Your memory lives on in his heart. You can enjoy all the times you had forever and ever. Train comes into the station, just destroyed. Beautiful. We did it! Well, I'll say, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Ha ha ha, you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Ha ha ha, ha 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 I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Faha, an old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. 
Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit somebody with a blow dart. <laughs> Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. Now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The situation- Oh, the station has a bakery. And look what I bought! Ah, birthday cake! I like how it already says Happy Birthday Amy on it. It's almost like he pre-ordered it. Happy birthday, Amy! To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday party. A ride from start to finish. May your friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. <laughs> Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, ah, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these ventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay. I hope it's chocolate. <laughs> Didn't look like a chocolate cake, but you never know. And there's egg. <laughs> let's go, Dad. Metal Sonic. <laughs> that train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. Happy Rubber Duck or the angry one? <laughs> there's a Sonic one. Angry. Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it. I like how they all have party hats on, too. <laughs> and that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Except I didn't have a job. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... I quit my job. No, I stuck with the gig. And then... I won millions in the lottery. And after all that, I now run a local supermarket. Yeah, that's just been my life. <laughs> Aw, well hey, that was a fun little experience. And quite well put together. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning, this game is free. So you literally just go download it. <laughs> so for a free game, that was a decent couple of hours. Had a really cute, charming art style. Story was funny as always. Um, yeah, the characters are great. It was nice to see some of the other characters, like having Espio and Blaze and stuff in there. Because they don't usually get put into games all the time. And um, yeah, that was cute story. Fun little, you know, gotta save the day. And surprisingly a fun little mini game there too with the Sonic running, collecting the rings. Kind of difficult, but pretty fun. So good job team putting together this absolute meme of a game. <laughs> When I first saw this though, I definitely thought that like Sonic just choked on a chili dog and died. <laughs> I was like, oh, that must be how he died. But no, it's uh, I didn't realize it was a murder mystery. And then Sonic actually almost got killed. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was fun. It would be kind of cool if they made more like this. You know, fun little one-off games, murder mysteries. I'd play more of them, honestly, if they're as fun as this one was. And I'm glad that Rouge got to steal priceless jewelry. I guess it was an evil trade, so you know what? You go ahead, Rouge. You steal that necklace and that Fabergé egg. You deserve it. Sega. Oh, now we gotta go through all of Sega's credits. Oh, I can make them go faster. Okay. There's a lot of people that worked on this, actually. I guess this is Sega team now, but still. Social media... PR. What PR? Hi guys, we released a game, it's free and Sonic dies. That's your PR.
Anyways, I hope you guys also enjoyed this fun little uh, foray into a very random game that came out. A little bit of a break between all the Pokemon that we're playing. Big the cat and dog. Big the cat the dog. <laughs> Aw. Thank you, Sega, for letting us make this game. Thank you for playing Happy April Fool's Day. Observed. <laughs> yeah, so this came out right around April Fool's this year. And yeah. That is Sonic the Hedgehog. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, in fact. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me this week. And who knows where we'll end up. So, I'll catch you later.